Hey what's up guys it's me Kiram back with yet another video and sorry for the delay I'm making this video after a long time. This is not an informative video nor a gadget review. In this video I'm gonna demonstrate my hardware project uh, which I took it as an inspiration from Apple Watch. I guess you are correct this is human fall detection system which is popular feature of Apple Watch series 4. First of all let me explain you the connections. The connections is very very easy there is no complexity in that. So this is IoT based project so that's why we have used node MCU for triggering the message and one LED for fault detection indicator and one resistor and the main component in this uh, project is the accelerometer plus gyrometer sensor which is called as MPU6050 you can search on internet so there are so many articles related to this and this is 3 axis accelerometer and 3 axis gyrometer. So this is the sensor, this is how it looks and uh, it regularly monitors the acceleration, change in acceleration values as well as change in gyroscope values. I'll tell you why we have used this sensor in little later in this video. And don't worry about circuit diagram, I'll put a link in the description box below, you can go through that. Uh, have a look at this live demo of human fault detection system. I'll tell you the principle and the working of this device. So once the fall is detected then the LED will blink and the message will be triggered to the particular registered mobile number. I will show you the message how it looks. So this is the serial monitor and this kind of message you will be getting when the fall is detected. So as you can see on the message uh, you will be having a location over there. So as of now I have given a particular location but in the next version of this project we can add a bluetooth module and we can connect it with our smartphone and we can actually get an accurate location as we have GPS in our smartphone. And this is the app that I have used for triggering the message. So you can search on internet there are plethora of videos related to it IFTT. And the algorithm is very very simple let me explain you the code. And the software that I use to code is Arduino and the language I use is C language. And the algorithm is very very simple we, I have set a threshold limit of acceleration. So once the threshold limit is crossed then the message will be triggered to the particular register mobile. It is very very simple and damn easy. So you can see on the serial monitor once the acceleration is crossed 1.1 then the message is triggered to the particular register mobile number. So this is the basic website that I created using HTML and CSS. You can ask me a question why I created this website. And the answer is what if suppose if you forgot your device and you met with an accident or you fell from height. So in such condition in such critical condition you this website is quite helpful. Once if you press the alert button then also it will send the message and if you are ok then you can press the I am ok button to trigger the message. And in this code you just need to modify the SSID name, password, event name as well as the API key that is generated by the ifttt.com. So before going through this code I would suggest you to go through any tutorial video of ifttt setting an account and triggering the message all that stuff. So that's all about our project. I think it's an innovative one. What do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. If you still have any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to figure it out over there. Lastly, hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting hardware projects. Thanks for watching. This is your Kiran signing off. I'll catch you in my next video.